हेलो लर्नर्स आई एम डॉक्टर मीनाक्षी राणा फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ फिजिक्स उत्तराखंड ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी हुदवानी इन टुडे सेशन वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट एडर्स हियर इज द आउटलाइन ऑफ आवर लेक्चर इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट सम बेसिक डिजिटल लॉजिक एडर्स द सर्किट डायग्राम फॉर एडर्स एंड वी विल फाइंड आउट द ट्रुथ टेबल्स ऑफ डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ एडर्स and finally we will see the applications of adders now first we'll discuss about the logic gates as we all know that the logic gates are the basic building blocks of any digital system and it is an electronic circuits having one or more than one input and have only one output the relationship between the input and the output is based on a certain logic based on this logic gates are named as and gate or gate not gate xor gate not xor gate so we will discuss them one by one first we will see the and gate basically a circuit that performs an and operation is known as and gate and the and gate has and is greater than or equal to two inputs and have only one output This is the logic diagram of AND gate. It has two inputs A and B and have only one output. Here is the truth table of AND gate. Basically, a AND gate a of AND gate performs a multiplication type of output. Suppose that input have A and B. We have two inputs, so the possible combinations will be four. and the output will be 1 for this and gate so first we'll take the case of a is 0 and b is 0 so for that case the output ab for the and operation will be 0 if the inputs are 0 and 1 the output operation will be 0 and if the inputs will be 1 and 0 the output will be 0 and if the inputs both the inputs are 1 we will get the output one so this is the truth table for and gate and this is the logic diagram for and gate then we'll move towards the dip, uh, another gate uh, which is or gate and or gate that performs the or operation and the logic diagram of the or gate is shown here it has again and is greater than or equal to two inputs and have only one output basically it performs an addition operation so if we have two inputs a and b then output y will be a plus b so again we'll write the truth table for or gate we have two inputs so the possible combinations of the inputs will be four and this is the output we have only one output for or gate so for if the both the inputs are 0 0 we will have output 0 if one have zero input and another is one we'll get the output one similarly for this case if one input is one and another is zero we'll have the output one and if both the input are one the output will be one so this is the truth table for or gate then this is the not gate that not gate is also known as the inverter gate and it has only one input and one output basically this is a logic diagram of an not gate uh, basically the, that not gate inverts the input so uh, this is the input and this is the output uh, for a not gate and uh, if the input is 0 the output will be 1 means it is inverted of the input uh, input signal and if the input is 1 the output will be 0 so this is the truth table for not gate now we'll uh, move towards the nand gate the nand gate is basically a not and a and gate and uh, this is the logic diagram for a nand gate this is a and gate and if we insert a not gate uh, in front of a and gate that becomes a nand gate and again it has n is equal to 2 or greater than 2 inputs and have only one output and this is the logic diagram basically this is the logic diagram of nand gate and uh, again this is the truth table for nand gate 
uh, this is the input again we have two inputs so the possible combination will be four and this is the output in this condition if both the input is one then we'll get only zero otherwise we will get the output one in the case of NAND gate operation now the NOR gate basically the NOR uh, OR operation is not uh, as the NOR operation and it has again n is greater than or equal to two inputs and have only one output uh, this is the logic diagram of a NOR gate uh, basically the this is the OR gate and if we add a bubble in this OR gate uh, this becomes a NOR gate and this is the truth table for an OR gate we have inputs a and b and this is the output the output will be a plus b bar and uh, for this case if the both the inputs are zero then again we will get the one output and otherwise we will get the output zero so this is the truth table for a nor gate this is the xor gate this xor gate sometimes is known as xor or xor and pronounced at exclusive or gate and this is a digital logic gate that gives a true means a one or a high output when the numbers of true inputs is odd. This is the logic representation of an XOR gate and this is the symbol for an XOR gate. This is a truth table and uh, again we have these two inputs and one output. So uh, for this case if both the inputs are same we will get the zero for the XOR output and if uh, one input is high then we'll get the output one again this one uh, this a input is one means high then we'll get the output one if th both the input are same we will get the zero in case of the XOR gate this is the XOR gate this XOR gate is basically a complement of a XOR gate and it is also known as a hybrid gate and it is a combination of a XOR gate and a NOT gate. The output of XOR gate is high only when both the inputs are same as in uh, shown in this truth table. If both the inputs are same, we will get the output 1. Otherwise, we will get the input uh, or output 0. This is the symbol for XOR gate and it is same as XOR gate but there is a uh, sign of a complement here is added in the XNOR gate. This XNOR gate sometimes uh, is also known as equivalence gate. This is the uh, all uh, digital logic gate symbols. These are the different types of gate with their symbols, notations and truth table. We have the studied the AND gate. This is the symbol for AND gate. This is the notation and this is the truth table. For then uh, we will uh, uh, we have uh, seen the OR gate. This is symbol, notation and truth table. Again we have also read about NOT gate, NAND gate, NOR gate and XOR gate. The, these are the corresponding sing, uh, symbols with their notations and truth table. So we have understood about the different types of uh, logic gates. Now we will see uh, what are the adders. Basically the adders are the digital circuits that carry out the addition of numbers. And that adders are a key component of arithmetic logical unit. So uh, in binary addition uh, is basically a similar somewhat similar to the decimal addition. And uh, we'll see some uh, basic binary additions are uh, shown as below. Suppose that one uh, bit is zero, then another uh, binary number is zero, then output will be zero is zero is zero. One is zero, another is one, then we'll get the addition will get one. If the first input is one, another is zero, we will get again one. But if both the inputs are one, and 1 will get the output 0 with 1 carry. So, uh, this is about the binary additions. Now, we'll see what are the half adders. That half adders is basically combinational circuits. Uh, combinational circuits, we have already discussed that combinational circuits uh, do not depend 
the output in the combinational circuit do not depends upon the previous stage so these are the combinational circuit in which the simple addition of two binary numbers exist suppose uh, we have two bits a and b whose addition we have to perform and this is the block diagram and this is the truth table for a half header we have uh, uh, two numbers a and b and uh, their uh, sum will be uh, given by this uh, output and uh, their carry will be given by this output. So we have two inputs and two outputs for a half header. This is the block diagram for a half header and this is the truth table for a half header. As we have shown that we have two inputs. So the possible combinations of the inputs will be uh, four. So let us take the first case. This is the output. We have two outputs, one for sum and one for carry. So if the inputs are A0, B0, the sum will be 0 and we don't have any carry. If A0, B is 1, the sum will be 1. Again, we don't have any carry. If A is 1, B is 0, the sum will be 1 and carry will be 0. But if both the inputs are 1 and 1, A is 1 and B is 1, for this case, the sum will be 0 and the carry will be 1. Okay. So, this is the truth table for a half header. Basically, half header is used to add or to add uh, two binary numbers. So, this is the truth table for some operation. By solving the Carnot map, we will find out the logical diagram of half header. This is the Carnot map for a uh, some operation of a half header and we'll uh, write down the one here and here by solving this Carnot map we will get the sum expression as a b bar plus a bar b and this is the operation of a XNOR gate so for half headers the sum uh, operation will be given mm. by a two input XOR gate then we will Say the carry operation and this is the truth table for a carry operation and uh, this is the Carnot map for a carry operation in a half header and we'll see that the carry operation for a half header will be given by a two input AND gate and the Carnot map simplification and the logic diagram of some uh, carry of a half header is given as AB. So, uh, this is given by a uh, two input AND gate. So, this is the half header logic diagram. We have two binary numbers A and B and this is whole the half header. The sum expression is given by a XOR gate and the carry operation is given by a AND gate. And this combining of these two will give the total half header. As uh, this is the input A, this is the input B, the sum operation will be given as A B bar plus B A bar. And the carry operation is again the output of an AND gate. So it will give us A B. So by using a uh, AND gate or our uh, XOR gate, we will calculate the half header or we can construct a half header. This half header can also be uh, formed or uh, can be designed by using a NAND gate by this type of method and a half header can also be constructed by using the NOR gate by using or by realizing this type of NOR gates. So, at last, we will discuss the application of a half header. These half headers are used in the arithmetic logic circuitry of a computer to compute the binary addition operation on two bits. This half headers is also used to make uh, full headers. As a full header, uh, it requires three input. The third input will be a, a carry input. And we will be able to cascade the carry bit from one adder to the other adder. However, half adder have some limitations. That limitations are that they cannot add a carry bit that is have in earlier bit. 
so uh, this type of uh, limitation can be solved or can be overcome by using the full address so in our next lecture we will discuss about the full address dear learners i hope that you have understood about this uh, address clearly so in our next lecture we will discuss about the full address